Hi, and welcome to the Crusader Connection. I'm Dave. And I'm Oscar. On today's show, we'll see how the Stand Up, Speak Up campaign is going. Also, we ask students about their worst and best gift, then the sports report, and some fun skits. But first, some announcements. Glow Coming Spirit Week is looking to be big this year. It's the week of January 5th, and Glow Coming is the 10th, so save the date. During the week of January 5th, be sure to wear your supporting colors for battling cancer. Monday is orange, Tuesday is teal, Wednesday is dark blue, Thursday is black, and Friday is pink. Be sure to pick out a pink shirt for pink out for free admission to the game Friday. You remember someone in Crusader Nation has battled at least one of these cancers. What a great way to show your support. Now, we have some interviews with students on how the Stand Up Speak Up campaign is going. Pink Out Show Cruise Line also aired a special related to depression and bullying. Check out their special in the link in the description. Again, we'd like to thank everybody involved. Continue to wear your shirt and use the OK to say up anytime you want to report harmful activity. Here's our update. I'm here with AC. All right, AC. Do you think there's a purling problem in our school? Yes, I do think there's a problem in school. All right. Well, would you ever use the okay to say app to report any bullying in the school? Yes, I think it's um I think it's wrong and I think it's very immature and I think people should actually grow up and be the bigger man, you know, make friends instead of making enemies. What do you think about the show kicking off the anti bullying campaign? I think it's great. I think a lot more people will um understand it and like more people will step out and be encouraged to step out against bullying. Would you rather speak up against the bully or use the app? I will. Um, I would do both because they both are. Um, they both are worth. Uh, worth it, you know. Like, um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Here with uh, Miss Amel. I'm asking her about the app. What do you think? Uh, the okay to say app? Um, I think the okay to say app is a very good app. I think it allows kids to feel comfortable and confident in being able to report something. Um, and since it's anonymous, they're not going to have retaliation. Do you think there's a bullying problem in our school? I don't think there's a necessary problem as a whole. I think some kids do get bullied um, and some kids are more susceptible to it. So I think as a whole student body, we have to stand up for those kids so we eliminate um, the bullying that there is. What did you think of the show kicking off the OK to Say Up? Um, I think it's a great show. I think it's a great app. It allows people just more opportunities to get the word out there um, and to feel safe at school. When people are being bullied, would you rather kids speak up or use the app? Um, whatever is comfortable to them. If they're comfortable speaking up, I would rather them speak up right then and there. If they're not comfortable, I would rather them report it on the app because any kid that is safe is um, a win-win for me. All right, thank you. t-shirts for ten dollars for the January 9th basketball game and if you buy one then you will get into the game for free. Um, all the leftover profits will go to the Carmano Center and yeah the Harper Hospital and we're also selling Glow Coming 2014 wristbands um, for ten dollars also. Be sure to stop by the community service office in the library for more information on the LCN Just Swap opportunity. Spanish 4 and 5 classes are selling bracelets that were handmade in Nicaragua as part of the Pulsera Project, which is a charity that works, for, works to provide education and a way out of poverty for people in Nicaragua. The bracelets are $5 and come with a picture of the person who made it. The sale is going on in the cafeteria during all lunches this week. The sports report is back this week, so let's check in with Dante and Pat to see what's been going on. I'm Dante. And I'm Patrick, and welcome to the LCN Sports Report. This Saturday will be the Dave Jackson tip-off classic with the girls basketball at 5 and boys at 7 here in the Dave Jackson gym. There is only a $5 admission, so come on and greet your team on. 
The LCN hockey team had two games this past weekend, one on Friday the 5th and one on Saturday the 6th. Friday's game was a 6-2 win over Warren Mott. Saturday's game was another win, 8-1 against Notre Dame Prep. The girls' basketball team lost their first game against Regina on Friday the 5th. Come out to the Dave and Jackson tip-off to support your girls at 5. This weekend, the bowling team hosted the LCN Singles Tournament, and the team showed their dominance. For the boys, Kyle Hayes won the event, for, and for the girls, Sam Gaynor finished as the number one qualifier. Congratulations to Dante Vitelli and Sam Gaynor for being the Athletes of the Week. Now, here are some skits we produced. Let's take a look. All right, so what has your worst Christmas gift ever been? Clothes for my grandma. All right, can you All right, I have two things behind my back, and pick left or right. Right. Is this better than your worst Christmas gift? No. So what has your worst Christmas gift ever been? Uh, it was a long sleeve shirt that had sparkles on it, and it said princess. Oh, okay. I'm two things behind my back. All right. right. Okay. Let's see. I'm left-handed, so the obvious answer would be right. Okay. No, I actually really like the shirt. What is your best Christmas gift you've ever gotten? I got a hamster when I was like eight years old. So I have to think come back. Big side. Left. Oh my gosh, thank you. I'm here with the first lady. What is the best Christmas gift you've ever gotten? Um, the best Christmas gift I've ever gotten would be my iPod, which I have with me almost all the time. Left or right? Oh, uh, right. <gasps> what is your favorite fall vegetable? My favorite fall vegetable is a sweet potato. How did you know? All right, what is the worst Christmas gift you've ever got? Um, probably a Barbie. Ooh, hold this for a sec. Now, hands left or right. I'm gonna give you a gift. Um, I'll do that one. Is that, is that better than Barbie? Yeah. <laughs> you wanna know what? The other hand is also a battery, so either way, you're just gonna battery. <laughs> I need batteries. <laughs> what is the worst Christmas gift you've ever got? I got nothing. I got nothing. You know? I got. <laughs> What's the best Christmas gift you ever got? I got a bunch of toys. Right, can you hold it? Pick a hand, left or right. Can give you a gift? Right. Is this Well, that's a wrap for this week's Crusader Connection.